from Indonesia had a powerful time you know as we were flying into Indonesia there was a massive earthquake many of you probably heard about it on the news as our plane was literally coming in the thing just just hit uh, multiple earthquakes right as we were flying in we uh, didn't do it though it was not our fault <laughs> but Haggai 2 does say that you know once again I will shake heaven and earth and I will fill this temple with my glory God's releasing his glory across the face of the earth across his body and uh, we saw some incredible things while we were in Indonesia you're going to see some footage here we had a massive feast for the poor yes. we, uh, we were licking the lepers kissing, kissing them, them hugging the lepers the unwanted the, the unworthy of society we were just pouring out the worth of Jesus and loving and embracing them yeah. we had our reaches to prostitutes. We went into a prostitution district. Uh, literally, we had to have armed security because they're jihadists and uh, <laughs> you know Muslim extremists in this area that, that could have killed us. I mean, it's a really awesome time. We didn't tell the team how dangerous it was until yeah. afterwards, but uh, we're loving on the prostitutes, yeah. feeding them. Uh, we had some just incredible times. What else did we do, Ben? Well, uh, yeah, some of these people actually have never even been touched before or seen godly affection with like some of the ladies. We were just hugging on them and, and loving them and kissing them, uh, holy kisses, you know, from uh, from holy men and women, and uh, it was amazing. The, some of the lepers have never been touched physically, and we were just, I mean, we were all over them, just loving them yeah. and hugging them and kissing them and kissing their stumps where they didn't have stu uh, legs and kissing their stumps of their fingers, and we just see a miracle. So. Yeah, yeah. So enjoy the footage and uh, join us on the mission field. Come with us. We've got more trips coming up on the schedule. So uh, join us overseas and uh, partner with us. Help us uh, go to the nations. In a slum right now here in Indonesia. And this is the river where they drink from. As you can see, it's not very clean, but uh, a lot of glory right here in the slum of glory. We're here in Indonesia, just in the worst parts that you can find in the slums, in this dirty river. We found this lady, and we just uh, we just uh, decided to, to serenade her, just to sing the sweetness over her. And we have a team of people from Australia and America, we're just going to sing. So let's just sing over her, real, real sweet and loud. Been praying for the poor. We just saw uh, three or four people, their blind eyes opening up, deaf ears opening up, uh, all kind of crazy stuff right here. God just loves to come to the poorest places of the earth, the poorest recesses of uh, Shaka of the world, and release his glory. And uh, you know, as Paul went around uh, preaching the gospel to the Gentiles, uh, one of the, the few things that, that he was instructed to do by those in Jerusalem was to remember the poor. And he said that was the very thing that I was wanting to do already. So, you know, we just, uh, we love the poor and as believers, God gives us a supernatural desire to, to just release the love and the joy of his kingdom to those that are most desperate and most in need. And so uh, we encourage you, come with us and join us here in the nations. And we're back in the graveyard and we're having a party with the poor. We just uh, killed a goat. You see there's goats over here eating in the trash. We just killed one of these goats bought a big feast and uh and uh the poor coming in we got hundreds of, of these guys that live here in the slums live in the graveyards and we're just uh we're bringing the big love feast to the shakala into the earth Some noodles, some rice, some goodies. 
We're just uh, loving all these people here. As you can see, there's a big long line of uh, hungry people. So uh, maybe next time you can join us in uh, giving the whack, the wine, and the rice away. It was said this man was of no reputation Yet he could stop a rising storm With a gesture of his hand But he chose to use his hands to Hearts of stone Just like mine Would be revealed He was a man of no reputation And by the wise considered a fool and one thing that I ask is for them to just close their eyes and see Jesus' face. And it's one thing to be healed of something, but they can always see his face, they always have that hope. You come to a place like this and you want to, you can give them that hope, the hope that God's given you. And you just see their whole countenance change when they, they walk away with having seen Jesus' face, seen his eyes, and they just know he's born and they know they have hope. Spirit, just as they were. He was a man of no reputation. Girls Just Want to Have Fun is our flagship event for the winter, but I would also encourage you to come to one of our upcoming mystical schools in the next year. We actually have seven mystical schools planned uh, starting at the beginning of the year. These are three-day intensive courses in supernatural contemplative Christianity. You can find out more on our website, thenewmystics.com. The first of these schools will be in the Northwest in Shelton, Washington. So if you live in the Seattle area or Olympia, you'll want to join us January 28th through the 30th. Also, if you live in Europe, I would encourage you to come to our Mystical School Holland, which is January 17th through the 19th. Now, this school will be uh, mostly in English, so uh, if you're in any you know, nation around Europe, you'll want to come and join us for this. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, then we'll be in Albuquerque, New Mexico uh, in February, February 25th through the 27th. These are courses where we get you activated in the supernatural, activated in creative miracles, the seer realm, trances, uh, ecstatic prayer, a lot of supernatural impulse. Uh, we're actually excited to go to Charlotte. In Charlotte, March 19th through the 21st, we'll be at the Heritage International Ministries uh, Center, the uh, Morning Star uh, facility there. It's going to be a really fun time, uh, deep three-day courses, seven to eight hours a day of uh, teaching and impartation, personal prophecy, questions and answers. And we're returning back to Atlanta, where we had our first mystical school last year. It was so incredible. Someone literally floated off of the ground in the meeting. There were so many miracles, visible clouds of glory. That's going to be in March as well in Atlanta. And uh, we also are excited to go to Zion, Illinois. We'll be having a, a mystical school for those in the Chicago, Milwaukee, Kenosha, Wisconsin area. We're actually going to be holding the school in the John Alexander Dowie House. So I'd encourage you to come join us at one of these schools. You can find out more on our website, thenewmystics.com.